Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this class, we're going to install our IDE and um, as well, we're going to have a look in our Django um, project, how this structure looks like and as well, we're going to run this in, at the first time. So, let's get it started. The first thing that we need to do is download the PyCharm. So, PyCharm is one IDE, it's a software, one program uh, with the complete uh, environment for us to develop our Python ba Python based application so once you put PyCharm here on Google you can go straight away to the download section and you can pick the community uh, version that is free or if you want you can buy the perfection professional one but the community which will be more than enough for you in this course so you when, when you click on it it automatically will start downloading okay I'm gonna cancel that for now because I have this already in my machine so it's the same thing once you you click on it if you are using Windows or if you are using Mac it just continue continue and finish there is no secrets in these installations are very simple simple stuff if you are using Linux you need to download the same way that we just did you you need to uh, you need to uncompress the folder extract the files for for a folder that you want to and then you navigate to the the PyCharm folder inside the PyCharm folder after you extract that you will see one folder called bean okay so you need to open the terminal and navigate with CD to the folder bin okay I don't have this one here now I can simulate that uh, navigating to bin here in my virtual environment you're gonna you you're gonna see one bin folder like this so you do bin and then inside this folder there is a file called pycharm dot s8 okay you just type dot and forward slash pycharm dot s8 press enter and automatically the pycharm will set up uh, pycharm in your Linux machine okay it's, it's very simple too there's just have a little bit more steps because in Mac and Windows it will do everything for you in Linux you manually uh, extract the files navigate to bin folder and type dot forward uh, pycharm dot s8 okay automatically uh, it will set up everything for you there's no secrets as well but if you have any problem for sure doesn't matter in it, it uh, in what uh, operational system you are you can left a comment here that I will uh, will help you for sure okay so once you have it installed and you execute the PyCharm you will see one screen like this uh, so that's the first screen of PyCharm you click open here and we can uh, open the project that we create in the previous class so we will navigate here to my project and clients okay that's our project you do open and PyCharm will open that for you and that's our Django uh, structure folder okay so first thing that we can see here inside is that we have two elements one manage.fi and another folder called clients okay it's normal we're gonna have the, the project name twice it's it's uh, that's the way the Django do there is another way to avoid this this folder but but for us there is no problem if you want to create a project without the second folder you can uh, when you do start project like this you just type dot in the end and Django will drop these all these files here beside the manager okay but for us for this course I think this this way is the best one but doesn't really matter the way that you want the, that you like most you can go for it so the manage.py is the first um, 
the first file that we have here so it's just a command line tool for Django uh, we, we are going to use a lot this file to execute to create databases to create super users to run the project okay so uh, soon we are going to use that but we do we don't need to we don't need to to touch in anything here uh, here is the main folder of our project the first thing that we have is uh, one empty init file uh, this init file is just to make the clients folder a, a Python valid package so we don't need to work on it uh, for now as well that's the, the settings file the most important file in the whole project uh, here is where we set up everything where we register new applications we include or remove middlewares where you set up the templates um, the databases the password validators and so on and so forth so uh, we are going to use a lot this file to set up our project as well we have the main file of URL so every web web project has so many routers routers uh, right so is uh, here is the the first file with with URLs that we are going to define that's one of the most important I think uh, changes in Django do dot zero uh, that it's not using rejects anymore now you can define a path it's one one way much cleaner and much easier way to define your URLs instead of using rejects rejects was one of the, of the most uh, as I, I can I say um, like the beginners used to give up learning Django so many times because of the rejects you know to define URLs not always was very trivial so uh, I think that's one of the most important things that convinced the community to change from the normal rejects URLs, URLs for uh, a path you know the way that we have now soon when we start building our web application we are going to define this URL so I will I'll be able to explain with 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 a little bit more detail so for now you just need to know that the URLs file is the most uh, is the first important files for URLs in your project as well we will have the WSGI file this file we need to use that to set up our project running up and running web on the on the Heroku so it's we don't need to uh, to change anything here for now but when we will get our project ready to publish on web we need to do few things there so that's it that's the first uh, overview in our Django uh, folder structure so we're gonna open the terminal here on PyCharm. If you don't have these icons here, you can click in this this corner and you know you know and then or you just place your mouse over it and you can pick whatever this um, this options. So uh, once we we have the, the terminal open, you probably will get something like this. Your username your machine name and then let me see where I am I am in the wrong folder I think no no I'm in the right folder is here yeah okay so once you open the terminal first thing that you need to do is activate in the virtual environment so I'll go back one level here CD space dot dot will bring you one level back and then I will type source my VM being activate in Windows you go to script CDs uh, CD uh, your virtual VM CD scripts and then activate once you have the uh, the virtual VM name here in the begin of your console it means that your virtual environment is activate so uh, now I can come back to my project folder once I am um, Beside the manager.py, we can type the first important command related to our project. We learned one already is the start project, yeah, but it's by Django admin start project. This is a uh, one important comment that you need 
need to memorize but now we're going to execute another another important comment that's python python manage py run server so as i said in the first class django comes with a small web frame uh, web server for you to run locally your, your web application that's why it's very simple to have the Django environment up and running because you don't need to set up any server manually Django come with this out of the box so when you type manage by run server he says that you will get Django running in the port 8127 uh, dot zero dot zero dot one okay so if we, we do control click here it will shows up the home screen of Django dot dot uh, two dot zero so that's it we have already our project running locally perfectly in your machine okay guys so it's very very simple to set up this uh, it's very simple to download and install the PyCharm uh, and as well to have your project up and running in your local environment okay so uh, if you got the same the same um, screen that means that the project is running okay if not you can watch again this class or you can left your comment here that for sure I'm gonna help you to get the same same result in your machine okay so in the in the next section next uh, class we are going to create our first app uh, and then start creating our web application okay so that's it guys I hope you enjoy it I hope you get the same in your machine uh, if you not you left the comment here if uh, or we can we can continue in the next class, okay? That's it for now. See you. Bye-bye.